of nothing. Hey man, I'm done with smoking. I know nothing about this vape stuff. Help me out. Sure man, that's what we're here for. So, our starter case is right over here. So in this case we have everything from the smallest pen mod you can get. Right up to the new print stick. And uh, it just depends what you want, how much you want to spend. We'll get you into a Prince tank, which, you know, you can get the big vapors. Still easy to uh, use. Internal battery. You don't have to mess around with uh, taking batteries in and out. And you also don't have to mess around with temperatures and wattage and all that stuff. It's a good place to get started. And uh, we can show you everything you need to know to set it up get you into your first juice and uh, you can throw those cigarettes away. Okay, okay, slow down. How, how much is this gonna cost me? How long does my battery last? How long do those, um, what do you call them? Coils? How long do the coils last? How long does a bottle of juice last? Is this gonna cost me more than smoking? Because that's, other than health reasons, I'm trying to save money. Okay, my man. So something like this, plus a bottle of juice, you're still looking at under $100. Packs of smokes go for 17 bucks a pack right now if you're a pack a day smoker. This thing's paid for in a week, as long as you stick with this and get rid of those cigarettes. Um, as far as how long everything lasts, the battery, the coils, and the juice all depend on use. So. If you're vaping on this thing nonstop, you're heating it up, you're gonna burn through the coils quickly, you're gonna burn through juice obviously quicker, and your battery's gonna die quicker. So every single person is a little bit different. Um, same as cell phones, right? If you got a 16 year old girl on her cell phone nonstop, and that battery's so hot you cook an egg on it, phone's gonna die quicker. So it all depends on personal use. And, and uh, typically though, uh, a coil can last up to two weeks uh, and uh, a tank a day of juice I mean it, it really does vary depending on user so you're gonna find also to learn your own vaping habits it'll give you an idea of what mod you might want to move into the next go around so or this could be the one you're happy with for the rest of your vaping life so what do you think Okay, I feel a little better about that. Um, can I see that one? I like this one. Hmm. I'll take it. Can you show me? Like, I don't. I don't feel comfortable. Like, I don't really get it. Can you? Can you maybe? Uh, can I see it? Thank you. Come on over here. Um, First thing you need to know is five clicks on, five clicks off. I recommend turning it off if you're going to be carrying it in your pocket. You don't want it firing in your pocket. Um, top cap opens up. There's your spot to fill, not in the center, in this spot here. Um, as far as setting it up goes, tank screws off the battery. And then you unscrew it. Doesn't matter which side comes off first. And there's your coil. So when you get a fresh new coil, you want to prime the coil by putting a little bit of juice on all the exposed cotton parts. And a little bit in the middle, too. Um, that's only when you get a new coil. It's not necessary every time. Then you are going to screw it back on and fill it up with juice. Let it sit five, ten. The longer it sits, the more saturated your cotton's gonna be. Um, if you vape off of it before the cotton is saturated, you're gonna get a dry hit. It's gonna be unpleasant. It's also going to degrade the amount of time you're gonna use that particular coil. So let it sit, 
15 minutes if you can, then you're ready to vape. Uh, after it's not a new coil anymore, just keep filling up the tank. So I'll set it up for you the first time, and uh, after that, it's all you. If you have any issues, come see us, and uh, we'll help you. We'll help you uh, get into it. It takes a little while, but it's uh, totally worth it, and you'll find after a few weeks, you're probably obsessed and watching YouTube videos and getting into a bigger mod or building your own coils and all that kind of stuff. But for now, this is all you need. So, you ready to go? Wait, 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 wait. One more thing I wanted to ask before I spend my money on this. I heard a few things that scared me. What is popcorn, Mom? And will this thing explode in my face? Because those are two things that I don't think I want to happen. I like my face and I like my lungs, not popcorn. So, of course, my man, no problem. So, popcorn lung is named that because the first case came from a group of workers that worked in a popcorn factory where they used an artificial butter flavor called dicetyl. Um, none of our juices contain dicetyl because the companies we choose to purchase our juice from are smart enough to realize that it's not worth having that butter flavor if customers are going to be afraid of the dicetyl. So first off, dicetyl in massive quantities like working in a factory can give you popcorn lung and you're not going to be exposed to that much of it vaping but just to be safe, no dicetyl, no popcorn lung to worry about. Second thing you asked about was exploding mods. So these are regulated mods. Um, as a new vapor, you're not going to be having to worry about exploding mods, uh, especially if you follow all the regulations in the manuals included. Uh, but exploding mods come from things like mech mods, which are a little trickier. And when you're ready, maybe that's something you want to get into. But just educate yourself, learn about them. Uh, exploding mods are 99% caused by user error. So it's just someone doesn't know what they're doing, jumped into uh, the extreme end of the hobby without really doing the research first. So ask us lots of questions and uh, don't be afraid. There's no such thing as a stupid question. That's what we're here for. So what do you think? I'm ready, man. Thank you so much. The customer service here is fantastic, and the employees are handsome as hell, I must say. Bring me in. Let's do this. Um, I'm thinking sour candy. That sounds delicious. Let's do that. All right. Thank you so much, man. I'm ready to change. Get rid of this smoker's cough. All right, man. You're all set up. You got your puff points starting to build up, and uh, again, if you have any questions, don't uh, be afraid to ask. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time. Don't worry, man. Happens to everybody. Just take her easy, take her slow. You'll get used to it. Okay, man, thanks. Try it again. Little puffs. Okay, I can do this. See you next time. Another satisfied Vapor Trail customer.